At the beginning of the last century, there were still many white spots on the map of our planet. Europeans already knew about some remote islands, but there were many places where a white man hadn't set foot yet. This story took place on one of the lesser known patches of land near the New Ireland, which was part of the German colonies in the ocean, German New Guinea at the time. On December 25, 1906, the German cargo ship Duke Johann Albrecht was making a trip, heading for the Australian city of Sydney. The crew included 31-year-old Swedish sailor Carl Emil Pedersen, who lived from 1875 to 1937. When the ship was sailing near the small Bismarck archipelago, it got into a serious storm. Duke Johann Albrecht couldn't handle the blows of the elements and sank. Carl, however, managed to survive and got washed ashore on the godforsaken island of Tabaro, a small piece of land located in the northeast part of New Guinea. It was inhabited by cruel cannibal natives at the beginning of the 20th century. Naturally, Carl's arrival couldn't go unnoticed on such a small island. Pedersen was immediately discovered and surrounded. The natives wanted to put the Swede on their lunch menu. But his Scandinavian origin turned out to be of use. Pedersen had blue eyes, and apparently, the natives of the island had never seen blue eyes in people. The king of the island really liked the outlandish man, so he decided to spare him and keep him as an exotic creature. Over time, the civilized European man gained the leader's trust and started teaching the locals about productive agriculture and gardening. Moreover, Carl organized extensive trade with neighboring islands, where dried coconuts, melons, and sweet potatoes were exported from Tabaro. Seeing that his tribe began to prosper, the overjoyed king married off his daughter to the enterprising Swedish man. In 1908, the king of Tabaro died, and his son-in-law rightfully inherited his title. Carl and his wife had nine children. Pedersen and Queen Sindogo lived in a happy marriage for 15 years until an unknown tropical disease struck the woman in 1921. King Carl turned out to be a wise and just ruler. He found small deposits of gold ore on one of the neighboring islands, Simbury, and made his subjects truly rich. Moreover, the former sailor abolished cannibalism on Tabaro and turned the natives into more or less civilized people. Pedersen longed for his homeland for many years and in 1922, he traveled to Sweden for a visit. There, he married Anglo-Swedish Jessie Louisa Simpson. In 1923, Carl returned to Dabaro and held another wedding ceremony, following the local customs. In 1923, Queen Jessie died of malaria, and Pedersen passed the title to his eldest son, Frederick, and sailed away from his kingdom forever. He settled in Australia, in the city where the ill-fated ship Duke Johann Albrecht was headed. The former king passed away in Sydney on May 12, 1937. Currently, the island of Tabaro belongs to New Guinea. The islanders still speak warmly of the blue-eyed king, since their ancestors made up kind legends about him. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.